It's a recipe that offers a taste of summer, even though the season is still a few months away. In the Carolina kitchen today, what it takes to make hickory smoked pulled pork. Welcome into the Carolina Kitchen. Jeff McLeod, the owner of Precision Palette, is here with us. And you're also going to be at a fantastic event. It is the ninth annual barbecue and bluegrass event happening at the Farmer's Market. This is a big deal. Oh, yeah. Big deal. Tell us about it. You said you've been involved with this every year. Every year. It's been happening about nine years. And I've been there every year. They, the Farmer's Market does a great job of putting this on and organizing. It's a great family event. And there's some stiff competition out there, I'm guessing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, very stiff. The great thing about it, you got everything from a backyard barbecue all the way up to people, guys that own the restaurants and everything in between. So. What are you making for us today? Today we have, we're going to be making barbecue. Okay. We have a Boston butt. And the first thing I'll do is mix up my dry rub, paprika. Okay. Just a little bit of cayenne pepper. Add a little kick to it. Okay. This is just a basic seasoning salt. And light brown sugar, which really gives it a nice crust while it cooks. And that's important, right? Oh, yeah. This crust yeah. is apparently what these it's judges are looking exactly for. Exactly. What they call the bark. Okay. You know, so just kind of mix that all together. Now, how important is the rub? I mean, if you just, you have to have a rub? You do need a rub. It really penetrates into the meat and gives it a, a lot of flavor. Okay. All right. Just be very, very liberal with it. Don't be scared to get it on there. Try to get it on all sides. All right. And if you can let that set on there for about, you know, 30 minutes or so before you actually put it on the, put it on the grill, it just kind of sets in and penetrates in the meat. So once you do that, you've got your grill set at about 225, and after about 10 hours, this is what you end up with. You want to get an internal temperature of about 180 degrees. Okay. When you hit 180 degrees, that allows you to basically do this. Oh, wow. I mean, it literally just pull, falls apart. I mean, exactly. you didn't do, hardly touch that. No. I mean, it's just like... Look at that. And that's it. It's that simple, yeah. right? To pull pork, I like to, I like to chop mine a little bit. And that makes for a great sandwich. Let's get you guys the recipe at home. Go to our website, wlos.com. Click on the Carolina Kitchen link. That is the fastest way. Or you can send a self-addressed stamped envelope to 110 Technology Drive, Asheville 28803. And of course, don't forget to check us out on Pinterest. Wow, that has an amazing smell to it. That is a great looking sandwich. Well, thank you. Jeff, thank thanks you. so much for coming in. And that's what's cooking in the Carolina kitchen.